Hey, it's Brian Mudd. This is my cheat sheet for Wednesday, January 16th. And today's question from you uh, comes regarding, uh, it's from a small business owner, regarding when they'll be able to file their taxes. Do we know for sure? And now we do. We have firm guidance finally from the IRS as to what will be going on. Remember, if you'd like to ask me a question, you may email me, uh, brianmudd at clearchannel.com. The last guidance we had from the IRS was maybe early to certainly mid-February. Well, now we know it's January 30th. You should be able to start getting your tax forms uh, now, and you will be able to file and have your taxes accepted. The first date that they will be accepting uh, your filing will be January the 30th. Uh, so you should move forward accordingly. And then um, if you happen to use software like a TurboTax program or something, the one key thing you need to do is make sure that you have the latest patch or update before you file your taxes so that anything that may have changed was properly reflected and you don't find yourself in a situation where you have to refile or amend or something of that nature uh, because you just didn't have the latest information in your program. Latest real estate information. Man, this is a compelling story, and it's a cool story at that. Uh, the local real estate numbers, courtesy of my friends, the True Group uh, that I work with, uh, in Palm Beach County, don't have the Treasure Coast numbers just yet, but they continue to tell a story of a very strong recovery in local real estate. What we see, uh, first of all, pending sales up 64% year over year. Housing inventory on the market down 54% year over year. More than 10 months worth of inventory in November 2011 to down to under five months of inventory. Remember, six is parity. Uh, we have... 4.8 months worth of inventory right now in Palm Beach County coming out in November. And uh, that is a significant, significant improvement, which means it is a net seller's market, which also leads supply demand to pricing. And we continue to see big upticks in pricing. The median sales price in Palm Beach County did rise by another 23% uh, in November. And that is uh, yet another month over 20%, which is what we were expecting, uh, given that you have a lot, not only a lot of investor interest in local real estate, but also you have a lot of people looking for second homes, people that had been renting for the last several years in season. And many of them have been looking to buy this year, and you continue to see that information play out. So I'll remind you that you know there could be some good news if you're looking to list. Your house might be worth more than you even might see on a site like Zillow. Jim, for example, is listing his house this week, and it looks like he's going to be able to sell his house for at least 10% more than what Zillow says it's uh, the, the median uh, estimate is worth right now. So just keep that in mind uh, when you are looking to sell your home or you're considering real estate generally, that the, the dynamics are certainly changing. The recovery, certainly, uh, there's a big story to be told there. Um, we're also seeing good progress on the credit card front, the amount of debt we have outstanding. All told, uh, since the recession began to today, what we've seen is that the average person over the age of 50 is carrying 16% less credit card debt than they did prior. And we're actually seeing young people carry about 36 37% less credit card debt than they did prior. Now, some of that is through bankruptcy and having credit expunged and credit being tighter, especially on the younger end, with people not being able to obtain as much credit. Uh, however, the, the bottom line is the bottom line, and then that is that we are living with less ongoing debt, which is a positive. One thing that we do need to be concerned about, though, half of all people with credit cards are one unexpected event from accumulating debt. Of those that do carry credit card balances, half, Half of all credit card balances are carrying medical payments. You've got 38% that are carrying either an auto repair or home repair on there. So anytime you get those unexpected things, we've got about half the country right now that is reverting to debt to come up with the unexpected, which tells you that you know it doesn't take much before we're rattled again and we would accumulate debt. Um, also, uh, information on the Facebook announcement, uh, it's about an aggregated search result on Facebook that will use what you like in your friends to give you search results. I wouldn't spend two minutes with this. When I'm searching for information, I want good information. I don't want subjective stuff that's being put together based upon things that I might like. I mean, that is like the worst kind of search I can even imagine. Now, I understand that maybe young people that aren't looking for real information, analytics, and uh, you know, a realm of information that might be available to search for something like that. But if you want a real search results, no way in the world would I you know, trade out using Google or Bing or Yahoo for the search results that you're going to end up getting through Facebook. Uh, so I mean, but where, where Facebook's going with this, 
They want you to make them your homepage, and that move into search a big part of that. Cheat sheet for today. Plenty more on the physical cheat sheet. Enjoy yours, and we will see you tomorrow.